Last month on Truck Talk, I brought to you the idea that proper gearing with turbocharger and injector sizing was all a great way to save parts and keep things alive a lot longer than normal. Well, this month I bring to you proof. So what I've got is a truck that we've done power upgrades to. I've documented it, it's right at 500 horsepower, makes just a little bit over uh, 950 pound feet of torque. This transmission is stock, it's the Eisen Tranny. And uh, when this truck was bought new, it was brought to the guys at Power Products. And uh, that's where Cooper comes in to explain to you what they did do it back then when it was new, right before we did all the power upgrades. Coop, what'd you got? Well, some of the things that we like to do is, is we build trucks based on, on the way we use them. And we actually use trucks the way they were intended to be used. Um, that doesn't always in line, line up with what the factory wanted. The factory's trying to hit an EPA number. They're trying to get emissions numbers. So they tend to gear them uh, pretty deep. So this thing originally had 342 gears and stock size tires, which is great, but we like running 40s. And we wanted to give it a little bit more mechanical advantage than it would have had from the factory with stock size tires and 342s. So in order to get that ratio correct, we would have had to be at a 430 gear ratio with a 40 inch tire, would have put us at about the same rolling rate that uh, the factory setup would have had, and that just wouldn't work for us. These things were made to work, they were made to tow, they need to tow good, they need to stay in their peak power band. And uh, as far as keeping up with the Priuses for mileage, that's not my main motivational factor when buying a truck like this, so. Um, with the 40s, we went with 488 gear ratio, gives it exactly what we need, right at about 75 miles an hour. We're at 2000 RPM, which in my book for a 3500 truck meant to tow whatever the heck I want is right on par. And then like any, any tow truck out there that anyone would have, we set it up with a Detroit locker in the rear and ARB air locker up front, because you never know when you're gonna have to four by that thing. So working off the platform that uh, Power Products has put together for us, we went ahead, sized injectors and turbochargers correctly for that. This thing makes just a little bit over 500 pound feet of torque, even with the mechanical gear ratio at like 2000 RPM. And it's doubling that right at 2600. And then it starts to taper off. So as Cooper was talking about, you want to make sure that if you're towing, you're using that torque and you're actually not harnessing it too terrible low. Uh, if this thing was geared with like those four three O's, the thing would just be so far under the barrel at that point it wouldn't, it would be super hot, super smoky, and super miserable to drive. Again, proof's in the pudding. This truck's got 35,000 miles on it, transmission stock. The truck makes 500 horsepower, and it does that for about 1,200 RPM across the top of the curve. Some of the nice advantages of gearing are one, it's a simple horsepower upgrade. It's gonna make that truck respond a whole heck of a lot better, feel a whole heck of a lot Feels better. Feels way better. And, uh, and two, it takes a lot of the load off of the drivetrain components. So because of that, I think, I think it's the only reason why this stock transmission has held up to the kind of power that this thing is putting out in the torque. It's because it has so much mechanical advantage from the gearing that it takes all the load off the transmission, just lets it put it down to the ground without really working all that hard, so. Guaranteed, for over a decade now, all the Dodge owners have always caught, complained and cried about, my transmission just won't hold it. My transmission just won't hold it. Well, if you were one of the guys running 355s and 35s, or worse, like 37s, we just proved to you, it wasn't ever the transmission. It was the mechanical disadvantage you've been trying to absorb. Now, that being said, we appreciate you watching the video, and we hope this helps you not come up short.